Hello, welcome back to another After Effects video. In this one, I want to look at anchor point animation. So I've got a pretty simple scene. We've got a goldfish and we've got a background here and we're going to do 3D. So we're going to need to put 3D here on this layer here. And what I want to look at is how we can rotate uh, the goldfish using anchor point animation. So to start with, we're going to just uh, change the scale, maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so what I want it to do is I want it to rotate around and then go further and further away. And then we'll look at like different ways to do the same thing. So just to, to start this point up, what we're going to do is we're going to change the anchor point's Z value from a position here. And then at about six seconds, it's going to be uh, maybe, four, there we go, about 400. Then what we can do is to have the goldfish going round, you see this is the Y thing, so if you, you can't actually see it at the moment, but it's going to be going around and round. So by moving the anchor point, you'll see what happens. So we'll put the Y rotation here. And then at this point, we'll say we've done three revolutions. And let's just take a look, see what happens. You see it is going round and round. And just let's take a look at the path it follows here. You can see it's actually getting bigger and bigger as we go. Let's just, just uh, look at that one more time. Maybe we just like exaggerate everything. So we'll do like uh, 800 and we'll do seven rotations. Let's have a look, see how that works. Might Hopefully we'll give it easy to understand result. You can see, I mean, that works pretty well. So that's how you can extend how the thing's going around. Okay, it's kind of facing the, the wrong way. It's like, uh, as we could change, let me see what happens if I change this value to minus seven instead. That might be another way to do it. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better, right? I thought I'd change the scale as well. That's always fun. Because I made sure I got the, the, the image I've got here I got it really neat. Uh, I wanted to get it at the perfect resolution that it would actually render quickly and also still have quite high quality. That is also something that you have to be aware of. To get these images, you have to make sure you get rid of the background um, and, and ideally use higher quality images there. 